Hi. So recently I was trying around with how to change the textures on a scene in Go.4. Now uh, think of this kind of the way it works in uh, Harvest Moon games where you can like here go between spring, summer, autumn and winter. Or maybe you have uh, a similar effect in maybe an old Zelda style game. You can change around all of the textures without changing the actual tile set. So all of the collision stays the same, all of the tile data stays the same. All you want to change is what does it look like. Now for an effect like this, one way would be to take all of the IDs and just map them to the different seasons. This would be a lot of more error prone though, because there's a lot of human factor and keeping track of things involved. Whereas with a bit of research and asking around on Discord, I ended up figuring out that there is an undocumented way to do it in Go.4 by just swapping out the texture. So I'm gonna show you real quick. New scene, 2D, regular node 2D. I'm just gonna grab the same example map here, which is really just a tile map. There's nothing special in here. If you look here, there's nothing here. It's just a tile map. It looks like this. We can modify this pretty easily. So tile map view, we select some stuff. We want to put it there. Now this doesn't fit quite anymore. So we, whoops, I wanted to select only that one. And there we go. Now it's changed slightly. This is gonna change all the same. So we can change this tile map however we like, as long as we use uh, this tile set here. Now, how does this actually get changed into something else? If we take a look at the assets I'm using, I get mine online, uh, these ones here, but you can make your own, of course. The important thing is that the same as you see here, all of the tiles have to be in the same location. Like you see here, these uh, rectangles for this stuff, if we go to the next map, then the same spot. If we go to the next map, then the same spot again. So the pixel location doesn't change, it's only the color sort of changes, the uh, theme changes, but everything's in the same spot. So we can just apply the same texture without worrying about anything changing. Now, if we want to actually apply that, we can go save this and go in here. Okay, what are we gonna do with this? Let's add a camera real quick. Just so we have a zoomed in view because the uh, thing is quite large for the textures I'm using. Two by two is fine. Go somewhere we can actually see like the kind of relevant stuff. Let's take a look. Um, all ah, right, I need to save this. Uh, let's rename this to tutorial scene, save it, play it. There we go, we can see it. Now if I press space again, nothing actually happens yet, of course, because we're not actually changing the textures at all. So now we need to make a script for it. Let's go in here, attach script, make a new script. So we can basically start out here with uh, keeping track of the textures we need. So let's say constant, season textures is equal to an array and we put in there these four things. Can I copy the name? Um, I can copy the path, right? Yeah, I can copy the path. Let's see, we can do this. This is autumn, we want to start in spring. Copy path, um, put that here. Spring, then we need summer, needs its own path here. And lastly, winter, copy path, and put that in here. So now we have our constant, which just keeps track at position zero is spring, one is summer, two is autumn, three is winter. Which means now we can just track our current season as an uh, integer by saying var season equals zero by default. So zero, one, two, three, it's uh, all we need really. And then we can make a function process, make this a bit wider and say if input dot is action, just press, let's go. Uh, UI accept, sure works, use a space bar. And then we can just increase our season by one, season, equals season plus one. Now we want this to roll over. So after um, winter comes spring again. So we just say 
take the result of this and mod f wait at the end please mod for it so then uh, after three comes zero again and we're good then we can say we want to actually get the texture here loaded so let's say var texture equals load and then season textures and then at our position which is just the season index since our season is just a uh, just an integer it gives us the position we need and well now now the thing is we want to modify the texture but where is the texture so let's take a look at the documentation and specifically what is there and what isn't if we go in open documentation here tile map we can find a lot of stuff in here specifically we are looking currently at the currently used tile set right there's a lot of other stuff too but i haven't found anything else here that is useful in this case if there is then i missed it but if we go on tile set let's take a look here again there's a lot of stuff but again there is no texture so we can go though to the source so this tileset has a tileset source which is accessed with get underscore source and an id the id if we get when we hover here on the tileset in this case you can see id is one if you have multiple of them you have to change it for each of them separately so if we get to the tileset source this is where we can actually change the texture but if we look at the documentation we see methods but we don't see a texture field. We can't, well, it's not mentioned that we can change this, but we can. We're just gonna do it now. So let's say tilemap.tileset.get source at position one, because like I said, here's our index one. And then dot texture. So this is our entire thing. From our tile map, we get the current tile set, we get the current tile set source, then we get the texture of that and we override it with our currently loaded texture from the previous line. And this here doesn't exist because I didn't declare a variable for it. It's dollar tile underscore uh, dollar tile map. Yeah, that's basically this thing here. Okay. Now let's give this a shot. Uh, select current, yes. And yeah, if I press spacebar, you can see the texture changes fine. Now the first time I did this, I'm not entirely sure why, but the first time I did this, the uh, thing wouldn't immediately update. So even if I changed the texture like this, in the first, the first time for me, it didn't show up in game. If this happens for you, you can fix it by just saying var tile map equals dollar tile map keep track of the current node because we're going to get rid of it then we say remove child tile map and then we can say add child tile map now i don't know why it started working for me after the first time but if you have the same issue i had and it didn't work for you this should fix it and then it should work Otherwise, you won't really notice uh, anything in game because we keep the tile map loaded. It doesn't disappear. We just remove it from the tree and add it again, and it calls some stuff in the background. And as you see here, it still works in this case. But yeah, on my first time, this is what made it work. If you don't have the issue, just leave it out, and uh, this should be fine. And that is really all you need. You can probably think of other uses for this that i haven't thought of yet and i don't know maybe this will get added to the documentation at some point i am not deep enough in my knowledge of the uh, current development stuff to know if there's a specific reason for why it's not in the documentation so um i guess until it's in there be aware that this might break at any point because if it's not documented then uh, yeah, that they might not be expecting anyone to use it. Anyway, this will be all for today. Bye.